Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, where we, in the most easiest way possible, will try to explain the Kurdish cause. This video is aimed for the audience that want to learn the most basic foundations regarding the Kurds. If you have missed the first episode, What is Kurdistan? We highly recommend you to watch that video first. Link will be in the description box below. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel also don't forget to follow us on instagram where we publish updates vlogs and interesting facts about kurds and kurdistan now without further ado let's get into the video so who are the kurds the Kurdish people is like many other people around the world a heterogenic people, meaning that there is influences from other ethnicities and cultures among Kurds. The reason for this is mainly that many different empires, kingdoms and dynasties throughout the years have left their influences in what today is known as Kurdistan. Many of these rulings has either been Kurdish or basically had a big Kurdish influence. The Kurds are not related to either Arabs or Turks, but have some common origin backgrounds with Persians, as they both origin from the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European language. The difference, however, lies in that Kurdish belongs to the Northwestern branch, while Persian belongs to the Southwestern branch. One mistake that some Kurds do and that the pan-Iranian community tries to implement into the Kurdish belief is that Kurds are Iranians, which is absolutely wrong. Being a heterogenic people, the Kurds origin from different ancient people such as the Kardushi, the Medes, the Mitannis, the Gutis and the Kirtians. Some Kurds even have Armenian origins, since many Armenians assimilated themselves to become Kurds during the Ottoman Empire's oppression against Christian minorities. During the final days of the Ottoman Empire, many Kurds adopted Armenian childs to save them from what in time would become known as the Armenian Genocide. Today, the Kurds are estimated to be around 40 million people. Some sources even claim around 50 million. The numbers variate since many Kurds lives in a reality where claiming a Turkish identity makes the life of a Kurd much easier. Many Kurds in Rojhalat, Iranian-occupied Kurdistan, have been victims of Iranianization, an attempt to try make the Kurds forget about their identity. In the very same way, Kurds have been victims of Arabization in Bashur and Rojava, while Kurds have been victims of Turkification in Bakur. The Kurds have had and still have a clan-based separation among themselves. Even though Kurd slowly moves away from these kind of structures, the clan-based structures among the Kurds still creates a problem for Kurdish unity today. Likewise, Kurds are divided into several other groups, such as Zaza Kurds, Ezidi Kurds, Luri Kurds, Feli Kurds, Shabak Kurds, and several other minority groups. Of course, we will talk about each one of these groups in future videos. Throughout the years, the Kurds have created a reputation among the world in one way as fearless fighters defeating ISIS in modern time and fighting regimes as Saddam and the Turkish and Iranian states while also being very good-hearted and friendly towards those who wish to explore Kurdish culture and their way of life. I hope you all enjoyed episode 2 of this series. If you did, and if you want an episode 3 soon on the channel, be sure to hit the like button, 
comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.